All right. For the beyond healing aspect of this course, I want to further elaborate on the concept of voltage as healing. Now in my book, The Classification of Sickness, I talked about uh, chronic sicknesses and the result of chronic sickness is a drop in voltage in the body. So let's further discuss about that. Now our cells run at minus 25 millivolt. Okay, and let's say for example the, the voltage changes to plus 25 or plus 30 millivolts, okay, the cell is not running at its right voltage and what's going to happen, it's going to put the body in a state or create the environment for chronic sicknesses to develop. So what we want is actually to have a healthy environment in our body that will allow the cells to repair themselves, or sorry, to repair, to do their function, let's say. Um, to repair tissues, repair organs, do what they need to do, okay? And in order for a cell to, to be in that mode of repairing, it needs to be at minus 50 millivolts. So it's very important that we, we keep our body well-tuned, let's say, as an electrical circuit. Now, when we get into this concept of voltage, uh, and I'm referring to the book by Dr. Jerry Tennant called Voltage is Healing, he makes reference to two concepts, electron stealers and electron donors. Now, the difference between these is that it's very simple actually. Um, foods or water or even supplements can either be stealing electrons from our body and lowering the voltage, or these one of these three can be uh, electron donors. They can be giving us electrons and therefore raising the voltage of our cells and making the body able to function to repair and regenerate itself. So. I'm going to do some demonstrations with water first. And in Dr. Jerry's book, he mentions about spinning left and spinning right. And this concept uh, I'm going to be demonstrating with a pendulum. And I'm going to be testing various water to see whether if the water are stealing electrons from our body or donating electrons to our body. So let's go to that now. All right, for my first demonstration, I'm going to demonstrate some examples with water. And we've always been told to drink uh, 8 to 10 glasses of water every day because our body dehydrates, okay? Maybe we're exercising or sweating or whatever it may be. Um, we need to replenish the water in our body. Now, water is electrical. Okay, that's been proven. There's no doubt about that. Um, but the type of water that we need to drink is electrical water. Okay, I'm not saying you, you electrify the water and then you drink it, anything like that, no. But the water, the, the particles and the molecule structure of the water needs to be compatible with the electrical system of our body. Now I have four, uh, sorry, three glasses and one, one plastic bottle here of water. Um, the first glass here is, is Malaysian tap water. And the second water is from a water purifier, okay, water filter. And the third uh, glass is <coughs> uh, water that's been purified and then put through an MRET activator. MRAD is uh, Magnetic Resonance Effect Technology. And um, just to give you a quick example or, or a quick understanding of what MRAD is, <clears throat> our body, the way the cell structures are designed and how they absorb water is in, a, is in a linear fashion, straight line. Now water from the tap, water from, uh, let's say a water filter, the water molecules are clumped together. And what is happening is that as we drink the water, our body needs to un unclump the molecules into a linear fashion 
and then the cells can absorb and this is what hydrates our cells. Now, when we're young, the body can actually do this very easily, but as we get older, it requires more effort, okay? And maybe um, uh, from what you're drinking, let's say one glass, maybe only 20%, the body can actually convert to linear to absorb in its cells. And then the rest of it will be wasted, okay, uh, through your urine. Now, so that, that is the benefit of Embrent. Okay, now the last water that I have here is called Zamzam water. And for those of you who are not familiar with Zamzam, uh, you can Google it, you can, you can uh, check on YouTube, there's many videos about Zamzam. And, um, but just to give you a quick history, Zamzam water dates back to the time of Prophet Abraham. And has been, it actually comes from a well in Saudi Arabia from Mecca. And this well, since Prophet Abraham's time to today, is very short, very shallow I would say, about 17 meters deep, has never run dry. Okay, they've, they've pumped out gallons and gallons and gallons and gallons of this water every day, but has never run dry. And this is the miraculous benefit of Zamzam water. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go through the demonstration. Okay, and I'll show you what will be the outcome of the testing. Okay, I'm gonna begin testing the water. Okay, and just to recap here. Uh, I've got tap water, I've got water from a water filter, MRED, and my Zamzam water. Now, I'm using a pendulum, okay, this is just a acrylic ball connected to a string, and um, just moving it like that, <laughs> okay? So actually, I'm not moving it, the ball will be moving by itself. And as I said, everything gives off a frequency and a vibration. And um, we're using our energies to connect with this energy. And the ball is basically telling us, um, or will tell us, whether this water is an electron stealer or an electron donor. Okay, so I'm gonna put it over the first water, which is the Malaysia tap water. And it's spinning to the left. Okay, I'm gonna put on top of the water filter, the filtered water. Okay, and it's spinning to the left. And I'm gonna put it on the Emret water. Okay, it's moving a bit here. Let me just try to stabilize it. Okay, and it's moving to the right. And then I'm gonna put it on top of the Zamzam water. and it's moving to the right. Okay, so what that is telling us, okay, just to recap, when the pendulum is moving to the right, that's my right, not your right, okay, because everything will be opposite on the camera. Now, when it's moving to the right, um, it's telling us that this, this water is an electron donor. When it's moving to the left, it's telling us that this water is an electron stealer. So the tap water moved to the left, the filtered water moved to the left, the emret water moved to the right, and the zamzam water moved to the right. So I'm gonna show you something very interesting with zamzam water, okay? And that is, is, it has a principle that if you take a few drops of it and mix it with any other water, the new water will take the principle of zamzam. So if I put some in here, some in here. Okay, I'll just close that up for now. So I'll give this a second or so to get in there. And I'm gonna put the pendulum back on top of the tap water. And lo and behold, it's starting to move to the right. Now I'm gonna put it on top of, the, of this uh, filtered water. And 
it is also moving to the right. So just now both are moving to the left, meaning that they are electron stealers, and now they change to the right. Okay, so this shows you the power of Zamzam water. Okay, uh, just a reference. Uh, like I said, Zamzam water comes from a well in Saudi Arabia and um, many of the Muslim uh, shops in your area, uh, you can go to them and you can ask them if they sell Zamzam water. Uh, some do and some don't, uh, but if you're lucky you can, you can get it. Um, there's companies in Saudi Arabia that you can order it online. Zamzam water is for everyone, it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from. Uh, this water is from God and it's for all of mankind. All right, we're going to continue with our demonstration and I've got four products here. I've got honey, I've got a lemon, I've got lemon sauce, okay, chili, okay, green peppers, and I've got this uh, uh, Malaysia brand chili sauce. So we'll start with the honey. If I put this on top, now I've got them all backwards so not to promote any particular brands. And the honey is spinning to the right, so this is a good way to test your honey, okay, whether it's giving off the, the right frequencies to make it an electron donor, okay. You can get cheap honey in the supermarkets, um, there's a, there's a, uh, a semi-grade quality honey that I have. Now let's test the lemon. Okay, it's spinning to the right. Let's test this lemon sauce. Spinning to the left. Check the chili. Okay, green, green, fresh peppers. Spinning to the right. And then we check the uh, chili sauce from the supermarket and that's spinning to the left so natural is good processed is not good okay so very simple demonstration I'm going to do one more Alright, I've got uh, five more items here that I want to test with you. Uh, one is I have these multivitamins. Okay, I'll just keep the name to the brand name to myself here. But the label says multivitamins plus minerals. So I'm gonna take my pendulum and just put it on top. And it starts spinning to the left. Okay, I have here um, uh, cinnamon sticks, okay, these are the the fake cinnamon from China. Um, cinnamon, if just to give you some information on cinnamon, if cinnamon is very fragile and very breakable, when you cannot break it, it's the fake cinnamon. It has very poor nutritional value. Alright, so let's test, and then I have here cinnamon from Ceylon. Okay, which is supposed to be uh, the real cinnamon. Let's test the two. So, we'll test the real cinnamon first. Okay, and it starts spinning to the right. Then I go to the fake cinnamon. And it starts spinning to the left. Okay, and then I have here a tea bag. You can see the label, it's uh, Jasmine Green Tea. Okay, it's from a very popular Malaysia brand. Um, I'm going to put the pendulum on top. And it starts spinning to the left. Now, I have in here, this is uh, dried leaves. This is from the plant called Motherwort. And motherwort is, a, is a, a very good plant for your heart. If you have high blood pressure or you have a, um, a heart palpations or, or anything with the heart, if your heartbeat is going too fast, you want to slow it down, it's very good. 
Okay, it's got many, many different types of benefits. You can Google it. Now, this is all natural. So if I put the pendulum on top, and it's spinning to the right. So what this is telling us, this is good. It's the electron donor. The brand tea, jasmine green tea, is an electron stealer. The fake cinnamon is an electron stealer. The real cinnamon from Ceylon, okay, uh, is an electron donor. And then the multivitamins are an electron stealer. Now I'm not saying all multivitamins are electron stealers. You'll have to check your own, okay? Uh, but this particular brand that I'm using or that I was using, okay, is taking electrons from my body. Okay, it's not helping me. All right, so I hope this demonstration was educational. And um, the book is called Voltage is, Voltage is Healing by Dr. Jerry Tennant. I suggest you check around for it and uh, get the book. Um, it, it, uh, he goes in much more details than what I'm demonstrating here. And the more you understand how our electrical bodies work, the more you can heal yourself and the better off you will be. All right, for this next demonstration, I've got a candy, okay? Uh, I've got my wife's previous high blood pressure tablets, and I've got another tablet here, uh, which is used for headaches. So we're gonna start with the candy first, and I'm gonna take my pendulum, put it right on top here, just let it settle. and it starts spinning to the left. Then I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it over the high blood pressure tablets. And it, it is also spinning to the left and over the headache tablets. And it is spinning to the left as well. Okay, so these tablets here are electron stealers. And I would assume pretty much any type of tablet like this are electron stealers. And candy, of course, okay, it's obvious, are electron stealers as well. Okay, I just wanna take a minute to talk about the pendulum and um, uh, just to end the video. Now, I'm using just a acrylic pendulum these things don't need to be special. Uh, you don't need to spend a lot of money to buy one. You can find one online or check at any local shops. Uh, if you spend $5, it's perfect. If you spend $10, okay. If you want to spend a lot more, then maybe it's too much money you're paying for it. So you can get crystal pendulums. Um, the thing is with crystals, then depending on the type of crystal, uh, you may have to clear the energy every now and then, okay? It may affect how the, the reading will be. So I'm just taking the pendulum, I'm holding it between my fingers. It may look like I'm turning it with my hand, but I'm just basically letting it turn on its own. Now, something that you can do, and, and this also goes with the knowledge of energy. Energy is not limited by boundaries. Okay, meaning that just now I was testing all these items here which were all in front of me. You can actually test items that are not in front of you. Okay, and this also is in your belief system. If you believe it's possible, you can do it. Okay, so for example, if, if uh, my brother, in, I'm in Malaysia, and if I, my brother in Canada wanted me to test his water, I can call him up on the phone, we can do a video call, and then looking at the water, I can actually just take the pendulum, put it in front of me like this with nothing at the bottom, and looking at his cup of water, I can test it, and then we can see if whether the pendulum is moving to the left or to the right. Okay, so um, this is something that you can do. And you can use that same, same ability for testing uh, medicine or testing food, anything like that.
Okay, so just a little bit of sharing on the pendulum so you have a deeper understanding. Uh, in the book by Dr. Jerry Tennant, um, he talks more about the voltage as healing, and, and I've only covered um, a fraction of what more is, is related to this subject. So please try to find his book, read it, uh, you'll learn a lot more. And um, when you understand the concept of voltage and how it relates to the body, then you can, you can heal yourself. I've been saying that, um, <clears throat> you know, we've all heard the saying, eat right, okay, exercise, drink water, okay? But what I do is I actually add a little bit more to it and I say, eat the right foods. Not just eat right, but eat the right foods, okay? Because some food will be stealing electrons from your body, some foods will be donating electrons to your body. Okay, and then same thing for exercise. Exercise the right way. And water, ex uh, sorry, drink the right water. Not just drink water, but drink the right water. Okay, and then when you read the book, Dr. Jerry Tennant talks about five battery packs in our body. And water is pertaining to one of those battery packs and um, one thing to charge the water in your in your body it's one thing to drink eight to ten glasses every day but you need to charge that water and the best way to charge the water is by going out and getting some sun morning or afternoon anytime is up to you whatever time is available for you um, and contrary to what they say the sun does not give you cancer. Okay, it was given a bad name by them. And um, what does give you cancer is the lotions and sunscreens that you put on your skin. That is the cancer causing chemicals. Okay, so the sun does a lot more for us, um, charges our batteries. Um, charges the pineal gland, so it helps to release the melatonin at nighttime and helps to heal our body. Okay, so try to do more research on, on the right type of healing. I'm gonna put a link to my website. Um, I have different health products on my web website that you can do some further research. Um, I'm not looking at to sell you any products, but you can, you can learn about these products that I have on my website and you can try to find them in your local vicinity. And I've got information there about viruses, about germs. Um, I have my blog there as well that you can learn and read more. The more you know, the more you understand, and the less you fear. Don't be like these people who are running around like chickens with their heads cut off, scared to death, okay? Don't, when you have the knowledge and you know how your body works, how your body really works based on true science, not fake science, then you have nothing to fear. All right, so I hope my course has been educational for you. I hope it's beneficial to you. And um, I, I thank you very much for um, uh, joining the program. And uh, if you have some time, please give me a positive rating on Udemy. That will help me. And um, some positive feedback would be very nice. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day.